George loved spending time in the country where there was nothing to do but nothing. Mm. Mm. George, the grapes have come in. Want to taste? <laughs> George was busy doing nothing, but he could always drop in for some grapes. <laughs> George hadn't stepped in any normal hole. Somebody was living down there. His new friends ran away when they heard Mrs. Rankins. You all right, George? I see you found one of our many gopher holes. <laughs> so those guys were gophers. <laughs> hmm, never seen gophers? <laughs> yeah, they dig a tunnel and travel underground. Now, those mounds are the entrances to the tunnel. Mm. Oh, Gabby, grape-grabbing gophers grab my greatest grapes! Relax, dear. Mr. Calhoun, the gopher-getter, is coming to take him away. I will pay double if he nabs every nasty nofer. G gopher! Oh, <sighs> you have to excuse Mr. Rankins. Gopher's got his goat. Hmm? Calhoun is here! Your gopher problems are over! <laughs> no! That is the biggest gopher I ever saw! Huh? Oh, this is George. He's our next door monkey. <laughs> Ah, there's your gophers. You see, the entrance mounds give away the boundaries of their tunnels. Hmm? There are no mounds outside this yard. That means they have no escape. <laughs> By the time they realize they need a new tunnel, I'll have caught them all. <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, we don't want the gophers hurt. Naturally. I catch the little sweeties and take them to a new, happier home far, far away. <laughs> George felt it was only fair to warn the gophers. George invited them to come live in his yard. Hmm? <laughs> of course, gophers travel by tunnel. <laughs> so he told them to tunnel over to his yard. But gophers don't speak monkey. So he decided to dig the tunnel for them. Ah! <laughs> 